Hey guys and welcome back to yet another version of Trader Talk. It's yours truly Dapolis and it is a pleasure to be back on the Trader Talk episodes. Now the reason I haven't released a video recently is because I decided to switch things up on my YouTube channel. Most of the time I come on my YouTube channel and I'm just bashing out charts, charts, charts or I'm just kind of like dropping bullet points as to do this and don't do that. So lately I have decided to add a little twist to the channel whereby I get to share my real life experiences, my trading journey with you guys. Um, I've had two videos where I've released, whereby the first one was how I flipped a, a $1,000 account to 28K. And the second one that I just released recently, which has done absolutely amazing, actually blew my mind, I've done about 8,000 views in like five days. Um, the, the name of the video was how a billionaire invested $1 million in my trading account. And the essence of that video it's called how a billionaire invest how i got a billionaire to invest one million dollars in my trading account now the essence of that video was to basically educate you guys as to how to go about raising funds from investors like i was saying in the video um most of you guys are at the point in your trading whereby you want to take things to the next level and you don't know how to go about seeking for funds from investors you're looking for investors you don't know how to go about it so in that video i literally highlighted um how you know the, the process that i went through or the the events that led up to me meeting the african billionaire and me actually securing funds from him he invested over a million dollars right now he is one of my biggest clients as we speak so um if you want to check the video out i'm going to leave a link somewhere around here it's going to take it but make sure to watch this first and then you can obviously go check that video out so guys back to what i was saying um today i want to um jump into some charts i have some things to share with you guys aud usd from my last trader talk video aud usd gave us profit now it's kind of like almost back at break even region i want to update you guys as to what exactly i'm looking at on the charts how i'm going to basically handle this aud usd situation because i'm still pretty much bearish on it but i want both of us me and you guys to look at the charts especially forex mastery students i want us side by side to look at the charts and basically identify what's happening and map out our next next course of action this is absolutely important now for those of you who haven't grabbed the forex mastery course the link is going to be down below as always it will absolutely change your trading but enough of all of this once again like i said i'm happy to see you guys it's very sunny outside in dubai beautiful day let's go all right people welcome inside of my screen good to have you guys here sorry the intro of this video i was a bit i had an eating when i shot the intro of the video a little secret i had an eating when i showed the intro of the video so i shot the intro i had to go eat and now i'm back on my system <laughs> for me to deliver this amazing body of work to you guys as always i like to come on here and share my charts it excites me for us to look at charts for us to win together for us to lose together at least you know if i make a trading decision here and it does work out i know at least people are making money from this and if obviously things don't go according to plan at least i know people are i mean if people are losing money they don't feel that bad because they know somebody else is taking the same trades as them as well but all in all our trading predictions since this year have been pretty spot on i mean if you watch all my previous videos you find out that we've been right probably about eight to nine out of ten times 8.5 9 out of ten times i think we have, we took one loss on the euro earlier on maybe in march it's always good to be transparent but i don't think since march we've had any losing trades if i'm being honest um so yes back on my charts now so guys today 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 i want to I want us to look into AUD USD first of all. I have a couple of things I want to share with you guys. Really interesting, really exciting to be honest. Um, so AUD USD, let's actually have a look as to what AUD USD is doing at the moment. Um, we already know already know from our previous analysis that AUD USD had come on a weekly time frame and had broken this neckline that we saw about here. So we called it was called shots around here we rode this entire wave up to the ups to the downside it came shy of our overall target and started to push up once we saw this weekly bullish engulfing candles we closed our trades and ever since then um aud usd has kind of like been moving sideways now what does the top-down analysis teach us the top-down analysis teaches teaches us something it teaches us that 
um, the market usually moves from zone to zone so we are indeed still expecting this market to come to this blue zone however for some strange reason we've come here and we just we just turn around so if we go on a daily time frame we can actually get some a better view of what exactly is happening sorry I'm getting so on a daily time frame it was a very clear clear trade so i was i started selling from here rode this entire wave to the downside added another position all the way down here um my this all my positions were still open until this bullish engulfing daily candle now for those of you guys who are always confused as to when to get out of a trade if for any reason you see that the market you have a target right let's say you have a target and which is here and along the line you see a daily bullish engulfing candle at that point you need to first of all start tightening your belt tightening your belt can mean closing a portion of your trade or start moving your stop losses a bit lower because more, more often times than not that market is about to retrace doesn't mean it's going to have a change in trend but for us to have a daily engulfing candle, and this is not just a daily engulfing candle, this is a bullish reversal pattern, a candlestick formation. Mind you, this green bar wasn't here, okay? We were expecting the market to roll over all the way to the downside because, you know, this was a very sweet trade that should have happened. If I look left, this is major support as per... Um, supply demand whatever it is you want to call it this is a this is a key level right so we're expecting this market to come into the key level and surprisingly the market just started to push all the way to the upside so once and another trick i want to teach you guys is if for any reason the market starts to retrace and you can see that the retracement is looking a bit bigger you see something about forex is when we retrace a little bit like this and we retrace a little bit like this and we retrace a little bit like this by the time the market retraces so we'll retrace collapse retrace collapse retrace collapse this is three times done that by the fourth time most of the time the market isn't going to retrace for something small like this it's going to go for a bigger retracement so within a trend i would only trade that trend twice either the first time or the second time usually the third time does the trick okay so i'll have about two to three trading opportunities within a stretch like this so one was here another one was here and another one is here i didn't take these ones in the middle because i didn't like the retracement the way they look but this one counter trend line break my cell positions were here and then i took another one somewhere around here because i like the formation of this uh, consolidation and breakout um so when the market so this was considered the third one now when the market started to retrace and then the market was looking a bit funny and started retracing even further i just counted it one two three and i knew that this market was going for a fourth retracement and the fourth retracement is always bigger it goes big but doesn't mean that market is going that trend is about to reverse it simply means that hey i've given you one two three guys you can't read this anywhere how do I know this? I'd, it's from making money on the first retracement, making money on the second retracement, making money on the third retracement, and then trying to trade the fourth retracement and then losing all the money I made in the previous three retracements just because of the fourth retracement. So once this happens to you a couple times, you know, you, you learn this stuff, right? So this is not stuff. Nobody taught me this. The market taught me this. Losing money taught me this. So I'll take it again. First retracement, second retracement, third retracement. The third retracement is always the one that gives you the biggest drop. It's, usually, it's known as the third touch of the trend line. So, but I was able to get in on the first retracement, didn't touch the second one because I didn't like the way the retracement looked. The third one was exactly where I, I added my position and then as you can see, the drop is a lot more steeper. At the end of this trading day, um, this bullish engulfing candle close, I closed out all my trades, right? Because at this point, you don't know if the fourth retrace, how, how deep the fourth retracement wants to come into, you're not really sure. So at this point, I would like to take what I have and bank it right so that we can be fresh we have no risk in the market we have money we've made from the market so we can now use that money we have made a little bit of it so we made all of this from the market we're going to take a little bit out of it okay and then start looking for new opportunities during the fourth retracement now obviously as you can see the fourth retracement did happen i was watching this retracement very carefully now i put this yellow bar about here if you watch the previous video i put this yellow bar about here 
And I said to myself, okay, the market has closed above this yellow band. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to watch it. If we can come back and close down back below, that will mean that, yes, indeed, this market is still in a downtrend. Why? Because if I, you see, when the market goes for a bigger retracement, you want to zoom out and you want to look at the bigger picture a little bit. For Prior to now, these were the pullbacks. These guys were the pullbacks. These guys, these guys were the pullbacks. But now, the wave has changed. So it now looks a bit like this. So you're now looking at A, B, C. It's no longer small waves, no longer small pullbacks, and it's not the big one. So you need to look at this as one wave down and a pullback. So as you can see, this market got stuck here. I put my Fibonacci here. I said, if this market breaks above, that means this Fibonacci doesn't hold. And guys, once a Fibonacci does not hold, that trend is in trouble. The Fibonacci is the last line of defense. If Fibonacci's cannot hold, these levels cannot hold then it most likely means that we might want to start jumping up 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 a little bit but for the fact that this i was watching it first day it looked like it broke it second day we were around here i was just looking like i know you i know you this motherfucker i know you i've seen you before many times okay and then obviously we came back down and as we closed back down here immediately that happened i put in my cell position now what was my entry strategy i'm starting to see a lot of people ask me what my entry strategy is it's a bit it's a bit weird that people keep asking me this because i feel like i share that with you guys um for me my entry strategy can vary okay i can't really say this on this trader talk video i'm going to need to save that for the forex mastery students okay so forex mastery students i have three different styles of entering the market what i'm actually going to do is so i'm traveling today um i'm flying out in like maybe two hours i need to go finish up my driving lessons because obviously i just moved to dubai so it's different we in the uk you drive on the right side of the room in the uk you drive on the right side here we drive on the left side same with nigeria right so obviously once you're switching you have to do your lessons so i've had to take over 40 lessons 40 lessons no 35 lessons i've had to take so to, so i have my final driving um, exam tomorrow hopefully i pass so that i can once i pass my driving test i can now start driving the lamborghinis and then uploading them on youtube for you guys to see because it seems like everybody on youtube loves the lamborghinis the reason we haven't had any lamborghinis on our channel is because i don't have a driver's license yet <laughs> that's the honest truth but trust me once my license comes hopefully guys pray for me once my license comes out i'm going to give you guys a very very serious tour of dubai we can i'm going to take you guys everywhere i'm going okay i promise that so i'm flying out shortly once i come back I will definitely be updating the forex my definitely i know i've been saying this but i'll definitely be updating it with my entry strategies i have three of them um lower time frame entry strategy i'm definitely going to be up, but they're actually so they're actually quite it's not that complex you know i don't like to complicate my charts i promise you guys i promise you once i'm back from fujera on monday hopefully once i pass my test by tuesday wednesday just give me tuesday wednesday thursday i'll have the video up on the forex mastery course uh, my entry strategy that's what i'm going to call it right so if you haven't already grabbed the program the link is going to be down below you don't want to miss out on this because it's a lot of juicy stuff in that course now back to what i was saying so once this happened my sell trades were about here then my stop losses are here so this is where we are at the moment so i am st i still have my short positions about here daily candle close about here my stop losses are all the way here now as you know i'm expecting i am expecting this market to roll over to my overall target or at least come to the 100 percent retracement now because of the fact that the market hasn't come to the 100 percent retracement i cannot close out i can't i can't lock in profit so my rules are this the market will need to come to the 100 percent retracement in order for me to bank some pips if i have 10 lots open the market needs to come here i close out five most stop losses to break even this is how i trade okay but for the fact that we haven't come here it simply means that this my trade is still the risk is still open and you know if this market pops pops and pops to the upside i will be getting stopped out for a stop loss no no word of a lie okay so 
Now let's hope that shit don't happen. <laughs> so let's see what could potentially happen. My trades are still very open. I'm short AUD USD. Have nothing to hide here. I'm definitely short AUD USD all the way up here. So imagine, guys, I was in all this profit, and then now the market has eaten into it. But that's absolutely fine. That's part of the market. And Look at how many days it's taking for this market. This is sideways movement for all these days. This is why the Forex Mastery course comes in handy because it teaches you patience. You see, all these are all just candles to me. They're all just daily candles. You see, as long as we sustain below this green bar, I'm not worried. Because as long as we sustain below this green bar, we're still bearish and we're still beneath this trend line. And now, now technically, it looks like we're actually coming to, if I move this a bit closer to the to the body of the candle, is touching it for what touch? The third touch. So it's looking like this is a third touch. But obviously, I don't like to draw my, my trend lines on the body of candles. I put them there. But technically, this is looking like a third touch. So I'm hoping based on the laws of price action, you see everything I do are based on the laws of price action. People criticize me. Oh, this. How can you say this? How can you say that? Say five minute time frame doesn't work. Blah, blah, blah. How can you say you're not the only like, how can you say that um, this strategy doesn't work? Blah, blah, blah. Guys. When I'm trading, I use the laws of price action, okay? And the laws of this, the law of price action states that the third touch of the trend line is always a very, very, re like it always does the trick. And from what I can see, I can also see a Fibonacci play out here as well. So this is actually looking like a Willis zone. Now, for those of you guys who are on Forex Mastery course, you know what the Willis zone is, right? Uh, it was it's a zone that I named after myself because after I discovered that I discovered the zone and my life was never the same again. I noticed that once the market went into the Willis zone, the market always the Willis zone always rejected it. It was a zone of a confluence of certain technical tools, right? And I noticed that once the market went into that zone, um, the market the, the 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 zone the level always rejected the market. So all I was doing was if the market was like this once the market came into the zone i was just sell and i was making a lot of money so i named it after myself because i don't think anybody at the time had figured out this out i think this was way back in 2016 16 15 2015 yeah 2016 2015 that's when i named it after 2015 named it after myself so we are actually technically inside of the willis zone as we speak now this doesn't mean that this market is foolproof we can fly out all the way to the upside. You know, the way I trade is I never rule anything out. Anything can happen. The, my levels can get blown out. I hope they don't. But what I like to do is I like to stay on the right side of the law as much as possible. I like to stay, use the laws of price action to analyze the market. Let it be that I was correct. Let it be that I stuck to the laws of price action and lost money than did something wrong and lost money i'll be more pissed off that way so i like to stick to the rules of price action and from what i can see we are currently testing this level about here let me just move this up a little bit okay let me just move this up a little bit excuse me my phone is ringing sorry guys hold on one second hello let me call you back uh, Sorry guys, I have to quickly get off the phone. Um, I hope this is still recording. So, this market is still, as long as we're trading below this green bar, I still expect this market to roll over to the downside. I'm still bearish on this. Now, why I'm actually quite positive about this market rolling over to the downside is because NFP was on Friday. If AUD USD wanted to blow out to the upside, NFP should have been the catalyst to take to make this thing fly to the upside. But when NFP came out, I noticed that the market only just came to pinch this level. So what the NFP actually did was to was was actually help AUD USD fulfill a technical level. You see, sometimes when fundamental news come out, or when you're in a trade and then you see the market acting funny, half the time the market is simply just going to fulfill what they call technical levels. It wants to touch a couple of levels before it continues in its original direction. So well, this is what I think. NFP pushed this market, AUD, USD, up into this level to fulfill this technical level. Um, Monday will be the big deciding factor for this. Monday, Tuesday. So I, I will be looking and hoping for a bearish engulfing candle 
daily bearish engulfing candle to come down like so i would be hoping for that and if i can see that uh would most likely be adding another position to this actually and then hopefully we can see some further downside so this is my take on aud usd um i'm still short at the moment uh at this point everything is beyond my control i have to leave everything to the forces of the market because every time you get into a, a trade in this game you're taking on some form of risk and some form of uncertainty at every given time but what helps me stay calm in all of this because i have a significant amount of money open in this trade i probably have maybe seven six thousand us dollars floating as in risk because if I get stopped out, I could lose over 76k. So it's a lot of money. Um, but what actually helps me stay calm in all of this is the laws of price action. They haven't failed me. Um, just understanding how this thing works and just sticking to the gun, sticking to the rules. And that's exactly what you learn on the Forex Mastery course. So yeah i'm just going to be watching this i'm not going to watch it like every single day i don't watch my i'm not always on my computer i'm gonna travel maybe on tuesday wednesday i might look at my charts again i'm not going to stress myself about anything whatsoever so ladies and gentlemen AUDUSD. i'm looking at a potential push to the downside to 0.71153 now if that doesn't happen because this is not looking like a higher low if that doesn't happen then shh, we might shoot all the way to the upside somewhere around at least back into this yellow bar somewhere about here let me the yellow bar is actually supposed to be here into somewhere around here so it's a very 50 50 situation but i'm favoring the downside it's one of them things whereby i'm 80 percent bearish 20 percent bullish so 80 percent certain 20 percent uncertain uh, 20 percent to the 80 80 percent to the downside 20 percent to the upside but i have my sell trades open so um at this point we can only allow the market to do what it wants to do so guys i have another analysis i want to share with you guys this would be actually quite juicy for you guys now if i come on um, i have gbp usd now something very interesting has happened on gbp usd which i feel the need to share with you guys um if you remember i did an analysis on gbp usd and i said i'm not going to touch this market as long as we're inside of here because this market is moving sideways it's ranging i don't care 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 don't give a shh until we break the neckline so what has actually happened is i can see left shoulder right shoulder head neckline broken mastery students you know neckline bro broken of weekly of a weekly time frame just like what happened in AUD USD. okay i'll show you guys then this neckline broke you can see what happened and we collapsed so the, the, the laws of price action are still the same this is this is broken i need a proper clear break and then i will then scale to a daily time frame and then start looking for ooh, selling opportunities actually lining up pretty nicely but it might not i need this thing to form properly let's go to a four and see what the candles are saying oh my god ladies and gentlemen we might just have a trade okay so um let me see if i can draw some counter trend lines about here so this kind of trend i'm going to draw it like this i'm not going to draw it too close because i feel like this market still has a lot of room to consolidate you might want to t bounce off of this before we bleed lower so i'm not going to draw it too close i'm just going to give it some room to play out because if i do this too close to the market what's going to happen is we might have a fake out and then i start selling and then the market still wants to play around probably test here before this is how you get stopped out it's called premature entries when you're getting a bit too early so i'm just gonna keep this here and then allow this market play with inside of this region and then come and reevaluate it a break of this and i'll be looking for potential sell positions now let's look for some overall targets for gbp usd on this fantastic guys i love love this shit i love it when head and shoulders break out of the neckline because woof, it just gives you that that push so let's see some potential targets let's see what where this market might most likely run into some overall targets for this bad boy so if i draw my trend lines now i'm going to teach you guys a little trick you see this market is most likely going to run into here um so i'm expecting at least a thousand pip drop on gbp usd i'm actually i am actually expecting that let me see if another issue if there might be other issues here if i look left yes we might have an issue to be honest that level this was actually a key level to be honest thinking looking back now cannot cannot rule this out you see 
Don't get too excited, guys. Always look left. Always look left. Okay, so let's see where we can potentially run into. Okay, so if GBPUSD is sustained below this level, uh, first level targets will be 1.3300, which is this major level. If we can break 1.3300, guys, I don't need to tell you all the levels. You can see them. Just look at my charts. 1.3300, 1.27397, and 1.2200. So if GBPUSD can, if we can sustain below this yellow bar, if we can stay below, because we can blow out from here, that's a possibility. But as long as, if we can test this yellow bar, let me go to the four hour time frame if we can test the yellow bar so usually around this region we might see some market manipulation so the market might push up a little bit if we can push up this will be my ideal ideal scenario if we can push up if we can push up and fake out all the dumb money traders i like to call them dumb money traders if we can push up Take out all the stop losses here this is known as market manipulation push up take out all the stop losses induce buyers get somewhere about here stop and then start coming down that will confirm a market manipulation scenario and you guys know i like to get in just after a market manipulation scenario why do i like to do that i like to do that because it simply means that the market has done its madness and now it is ready to head in my direction so i'm going to be watching around this area i would like to see a market manipulation do that fake everybody out send them here you know in football when you just give the guy like this mm, and he turn like this that's what the market is about to do here so if he does that i'll be happy but i'll be watching it if we have a market manipulation then we start pushing down once we break here sell trades here my targets are going to be here if we can break here ooh, guys i hope gbp usd can actually sustain this bearish momentum because that would mean that we have so much room to the downside honestly that would mean that this would be juicy juicy that would mean that this would be juicy i'm not even gonna lie because look at all this space to the downside it's a lot of juicy room and it will make things a lot easier um, let me look at the euro a bit briefly i'm not doing an analysis on the euro oh my god the euro has just hit major major support i think the euro is probably going through the same crisis that gbp us is going through at the moment um but i'm not analyzing the euro the only time i'll be interested in euro is once we clear down and back here but the last pair i want to go over is oil oil man oil so the, the last video I, I released was whereby I how I how I source how I was able to get a million dollars funded in my trading account by an African billionaire, and oil was the, the oil was what I used to close the deal. The fact that I was able to predict oil prices. So guys, maybe you might run into an uh, an African billionaire maybe this week, next week, and you want something to tell them. So let's look at oil. Let's see what oil is actually doing. Okay, let's do a quick top down analysis on oil. So it's it's very simple and straightforward, very basic stuff. Okay. So when I did my analysis on oil and then I predicted that the, the massive crash in oil, as you can see, oil, my prediction was at $28 a barrel, um, but oil came into peak low 25.426. For those of you saying, oh, that story is a bit funny. This is it. How was I able to predict the market was going to come, was going to get to 28? Just look left. I just literally looked left and this was, this was 2008 lows. At the time we went to the war in 2014 15 i just looked left and i plotted my key levels and when the market started breaking out i was like okay we're taking out 77 once we're taking out 77 what's the next level target it's 28 dollars a barrel it's literally here it's so simple and straightforward okay anybody can do this after you take the course of course <laughs> so let's look at this so for oil from what i can see um one two three so this is more like a triple bottom scenario oil prices have broken previous highs um the previous 2018 highs um of 75 dollars a barrel we're currently trading at 79 dollars a barrel and forex mastery students just looking at this i'm sure you can pretty much tell that the overall future for oil is at 110 dollars a barrel this is next level target so it is quite a bold call especially for a commodity for you to come out and say oil is going to go up to $110 a barrel, you'd be like, is it not oil that was just trading at $40 a barrel? I don't believe what you're saying. But just by looking at the chart, I don't see any reason why oil shouldn't rally all the way to at least $100 a barrel, okay? We might have some slight hiccups here and there. I see a choke at 86. I see a choke at 92. But 100 and 110 is definitely in sight as long as we can clear out these little chokes. So we've got a choke at 85. And we've got a little choke at 92 so 
you know this is it it's so simple and straightforward so you can then say if i come to daily time frame you can then say just by looking at this oil prices oil prices next level target is 85 dollars a barrel if we can clear 85 92 and once we can clear 92 107 to 110 is definitely inside i'll say 107 so how do we take advantage of this oil boom it's very simple and straightforward oh the trade already happened I knew I was missing something. I knew I knew I knew I wanted to come on the charts a bit earlier. Guys, I'm so sorry. This was actually a trade I actually wanted to inform you guys about. Ugh. Okay, guys, this is exactly how you can play the wave. Okay, watch this wave very carefully. This market will most likely respect this trend line on its path to the upside. Okay, as long as we keep on making higher highs and higher lows, as you can see, this is a high, this is a low, this is a higher, high, higher, low, higher, higher. Okay, as long as we can come and put in a higher high ping pong so just you can play the bounce of this don't worry i'll be updating you guys you guys in my subsequent trader talks yeah i'm calling it right here oil is most likely gonna at least hit 85 dollars a barrel so first level targets will be 85 dollars a barrel so we're about here i'll be waiting for you now you can go on the news and say oil is gonna hit 85 and then when it happens you'll be like oh my god this guy's a magician i mean i mean no magician it's just the charts the charts tell me everything i need to know so um this is where oil is most likely going to be um i'm sorry i didn't give you guys i didn't this is actually where i actually wanted to how when did this market even jump this far like last time i checked it was retracing and i wanted to come on here and give you guys one crazy trade call okay hopefully we find another buying opportunity at the moment i won't be buying because the market is far from where i wanted to enter the market but another thing you need to understand is when you're getting into oil positions remember that oil you cannot hold oil prices for too long now you cannot hold oil for too long because oil the way we trade oil we trade them based on futures contracts and futures contracts do expire i think they last for about a month so if you get into a trade always remember that listen my trade would automatically close out at the end of every month was it every two months? I can't remember how oil contracts work. So that, that's exactly how oil works. So whatever it is you're thinking, whatever thing it is you're trading oil, just ensure that you're not trading it towards the end of a month because then your trade might get closed out. It's always good to study at the beginning of the month so that you can have at least a month for oil to... It's, that's just the way it is. It's a, it's a futures contract. It's not a forex instrument like what we're used to trading. This does have an expiry date. So that's it ladies and gentlemen AUD USD I'm looking at a bearish short sell once we let's quickly recap by his grace this is AUD USD I put I put everything in God's hands because I wanted to fall my money is on this I need it to fall <laughs> so by his grace we're gonna come lower um, most likely will I'm actually not that worried I'm not even gonna lie so we're gonna come lower for AUD USD shukri 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 come down here GBP USD as well we're looking for selling opportunities and oil we're looking for what a buying opportunity so ladies and gentlemen this is my version of trader talk thank you so much for staying till the very end once again you heard it here first on dapc radio if you haven't already grabbed the forex mastery course i suggest you do so for your trading benefit for the benefits of your family and for the benefit of your freaking bank account so that you don't keep losing money the link is going to be down as always and once again my broker of preference is infinox capital why because they're just absolutely amazing and guess what they they pay me pretty early they they put the money in my bank account once i need it once i click withdraw they do me almost same day withdraw or by the following day my money is in my bank account infinox is one of the safest brokers i recommend them 100 percent the link to opening your infinox trading account is going to be down below i advise you open an mt4 stp trading account and sure to use the link so that they know you're coming from dapper willis and hey it will just make me a lot happier so once again guys thank you so much i'm gonna have to go catch my flight but before i go anywhere before you go anywhere i have something to tell you on my other screen so let's go hey guys so there you go thank you for staying till the very end of this lengthy video i hope i was able to shed light on the pairs i'm looking at at the moment um for those of you guys who are a bit stressed out at the moment i just wanted to give you guys some words of encouragement listen forex is especially for those of you who are new into the market forex can be quite challenging can be quite daunting but the reward at the end of the day is absolutely amazing 
Okay, don't get this wrong. This industry is quite rewarding. All you need to do is you need the right education and you need discipline. So all the things I mentioned in the video, do this, do that, don't do this. Be make sure this happens before you do this. All these things, I put them in place because I just had to put them in place to protect my capital because before I was blowing accounts. But when you blow enough accounts, you start to realize that, yo, listen, I need to put some measures in place to ensure that, that those things don't happen again. So when you hear me say all those things, you need to take them very seriously. Once again, all my teachings and everything I know about Forex has been put together in the Forex Mastery course. The link is going to be down below. Do yourself a favor and grab it and I'll catch you guys on the program. Thank you so much for staying to the very end of this video. Bye for now. Peace out.